our Flashback Friday and you are watching Trending Essay on SABC3. Your primetime trio is here to serve you the latest trends. I am Rafilu Mbakanyane and completing the trio is the formidable Alma Smith. How are you, Leafy? Yay! I'm well. Yay! Do you like my sleeves? Oh, looking fabulous. Are they big enough? Gorgeous. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. The bigger the sleeve, the closer <laughs> the <better>. to God. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and of course, the people's favorite, Mable. How are you doing? Sunny Bonani, Huyanand. Uh, what other language am I missing? Same one as that way. I don't know. Like, <laughs> You'll think of it later. Uh, think of it but later. of course, most important and key to this formation is uh, joining us this evening, the incredibly talented satirist. Mm -hmm. She's an author. Mm -hmm. She's an MC, mm -hmm. Lisa Khotlabi. Oh, yeah. 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 How are you? I'm well, good. How are you? Hey. How's it going? Thanks for, thanks for blessing us with your presence and joining us here. And the audition. Yeah. I'm telling you what I'm auditioning for the end. <laughs> she is here to secure the <laughs> land. Yeah. She I love it. <laughs> Let's yeah. kick start our round table discussion. We have things we need to discuss and we need to get Lisejo here to weigh in. What's first on the agenda? All right, guys. So the presidential elections are going up, uh, are coming up in America. Mm. So basically, people are, might, might be asking themselves, which, why are we speaking about American politics and all of that? When America sneezes, we sure. all catch the flu. Of course. So we are invested in this one. So the Democratic candidate, or Joe Biden, or mm. Joe, has selected a running mate. Mm -hmm. And it's Kamala Harris, yes. the first black woman selected to actually run as VP. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Lisa? Well, I don't trust any politicians, you know, um, in general, in this country especially, but like even overseas. Mm -hmm. So for me, everybody who does something, makes a decision, is, is doing it for their self-interest. Mm -hmm. Choosing a black woman, especially because Joe Biden also said, if you don't vote for me, I don't consider you black. So he really <laughs> thinks... Just by virtue of being a Democrat, he's going to get the black vote. He was securing it with Kamala, and that's all he was doing. Congratulations, Ms. Kamala, anyway. Mm -hmm. But it was definitely him just getting a quota kind of thing. Oh, yeah. a quota? Yeah. Ooh, so I don't even believe that. He Girl. is. He mm. is. They all are. Ugh. The first thing I thought when I saw this was, Wim Joe is most pretty old. So a lot of people are going, this is probably the candidate who might mm. need someone to... Well, the, Americans are fundamentally actually voting for their next president in Kamala as opposed to in Joe, should something happen to him. Because he'd be the oldest presidential I'm, candidate, right? I'm just worried that Kamala is the kind of black woman that America doesn't like. She's, she is. She's, she she's, is. She's, she's ambitious. Ambitious. Don't trust ambitious? Black yeah. people don't trust her also because she used to be a prosecutor. Yeah. And mm -hmm. she's responsible for a lot of black people going yeah. to jail. So she's also one of those that's a bit controversial. Yeah. He didn't secure the black vote like he thought he did. He has to actually work now. <laughs> okay, cool. So we need to prioritize why we're voting for her, right? Is it to get this guy, Cheeto Man, out of the office and then we'll deal That's with the politics later? That's number one. Later. Donald Trump's right, cool. yeah. 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 So check this out. Um, here I was scrolling through TV and uh, about a month ago and I stumbled across a very interesting storyline on one of SABC's shows, Iskim Sam. You don't watch Iskim Sam. <laughs> I said stumble. Give me a break. <laughs> Nice. Okay, check this out. I want you to see the video. We're going to this pending divorce here, Ghana. Intelligent. I'm sad work. I'm going to have a good thing going on. Oh, I'm going to have a good thing going on. So, what are you going to do? All right, so watching that interaction between Maroti and Kayone really had me triggered. Actually, my feelings were just hurt on her behalf, right? I know that together in the crook place, but is this the kind of treatment that as a side piece you are meant to accept? Am I taking okay. crazy pills here? Here's my thing. Let's go. Here's my thing. Okay, you want to wait? Okay, I'll go, go ahead. First. Yeah. Here's my thing. I feel that side chicks should be given the respect that they deserve. Uh -uh. Most <laughs> South African marriages have survived as long as they've survived because they handle the extracurricular activities. Then, you know, if you're having an anniversary, your side chick should have a VIP mm -mm. bottle section no, where they are treated Whoa. like world. Mm -mm. Are you please. hearing this man? So, <laughs> oh, <my>. hell no. <laughs> Hell no. 
Um, I don't think side chicks... I mean, look, whatever. Do what you do. It's your husband who's breaking the vows. But I think you come into this with an arrangement and you know you should know your place. Yeah, like, definitely. why are you being mad that you're not getting graduated? You're a side chick. That's how you came in. That's how your man's. But sensitivity you. training should be, be spoken. You, should, you shouldn't should, be rude. Like, so no, harshly. No, no, shouldn't no. Be rude, the problem I mean, is she doesn't have any place. respect for herself. No, she does okay. have respect for herself. The man is the one that should be respecting his relationship. You know? Yes, yeah, but don't come to into anyone. something where... Don't be entangled. Don't be the August and think Will and Jada are going to split up. They're not. Sometimes no. you play the law to guys. <laughs> King this Santa. guy will keep telling you he's divorcing. He'll keep telling you he's not happy in his marriage. He is. He's staying. You're a side chick mm. for a reason. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, guys, if you start dating a man who is married, you are not looking for commitment. You know there that he has somewhere that he goes home to. Sure. If you then want commitment, you need to get out you of need to get another space. boyfriend. And go get else. yourself a boyfriend who will give you guys, commitment. Sometimes We've you, got you, sometimes you're a graduator, guys. Sometimes some people have graduated. Yeah, but it's exceptional. It's exceptional. It's you're not, it's so you have to be exceptional. And you stay paranoid okay. after <laughs> you've graduated. It's a tough life out so, here. Exactly. So, what else have you seen? Uh, oh. Wow, guys. So, we're staying in America, clearly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the thirst. Okay, so everyone has seen LeBron James last uh, last week or two weeks ago. <gasps> there he is. Oh, my God. <laughs> How is this normal? How is oh, this man. normal? Oh. Absolute. Are you Absolute freaking out perfection. because you can see his titties? I can see his everything, his height, his aura, his swag, his but confidence. Me? His you know what, Elmo? Again, I said twice for South African men on that show. Hi, guys. This is the content that we came here for during a pandemic. We need that. That's what we need. Guys, I'll tell you what we need. Oh. I will tell you what we need. My, my Thank you so much, Uthifoni, for actually coming through for us. Uthifoni said that as South African men, we are not going to take this lying down. And this is what Uthifoni gave us. No, no, no. <laughs> See, they're just walking so no, fast. No. Oh. LeBron knows. He wasn't Take serving time. it. Exactly. He wasn't Listen, serving his slow motion. There's nothing going on there. Except he's late the for background. Because uh, he's clearly not an SA. He's somewhere far away. But do you, know, do you know what's going on with LeBron? Is he's mm. just showing off. And if you're trying that hard to impress everyone in the world. You don't have to try that hard when you look like that. Though. Oh. You guys are not getting it. He's actually just walking to practice. That's actually them getting off the bus for a oh, game. I love it. He's just walking. We think it's showing off because people don't look like that here. That's clearly your type. And you know what? I'm, yes. I'm with you, girl. I'm with LeBron. you. LeBron. Uh, Lisa Hall, thank you I'm so much. I'm not impressed. Aye, aye. <laughs> I'm not impressed. Uh, we love LeBron. Lisa Hall, thank you so much for joining us on the round table. Mm. We are going to be back with you in the latter part of the show. So. I'll be back. Keep it locked. <laughs> See you after the break. <laughs> is still on your timeline and this is Trending SA right here on SAP. Uh, what is it? Uh, Just clap for it. Keep your clapping uh, because this is someone you need to be clapping for. She's okay. not just the prop and the captain of the Imbokoda as the Springbok women's rugby team is fondly known. She's also mm -hmm. a groundbreaking pioneer. That she achieved cool. a massive feat earlier this year. She became the first African woman to become a professional rugby player. And when I say African, I'm not, uh -huh. I'm not saying black. I'm saying the first woman from the continent. Come through. Come through. This is huge, guys. Um, also because we're not the only country on the continent who play rugby. Kenya plays rugby. Tunisia has women's rugby and they're loving it. They're drooling over there as well. Help me welcome to the show the phenomenal Babal Walacha via Skype from Cape Town. Yay! How are you, Babalwa? I'm very well, thank you. Um, so fantastic to be, with, to be with you guys. Thanks for having me, man. Great, Please. great pleasure. You sound so happy to be with us. Oh, and I love that, that energy. You, <laughs> you're giving it to me, we're giving it to you. You have had such a big year. Not only, um, you know, did you rush home from Spain um, when lockdown started, but you've also recently been nominated in the Momentum G Sport Athlete of the Year category alongside some amazing athletes. Mm -hmm. Tell me about what does this mean to you, particularly at this point? point in your career and also in the world 2020 <laughs> um you know qu quite a lot has been happening um you know obviously uh, you know since last year and this year as well um you know so just 
for me to be nominated for 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 the G Sport Awards, it's, it's actually you know amazing. It's three categories all together, which makes me a triple finalist. It's the Momentum Athlete of the Year. It's the Global Woman in Sport, and it's Woman of the Year as well. So these wow. are quite uh, you know big nominations, and I'm 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 exceptionally excited about it. And but you know, more and above that, I'm extremely humbled by by the the recognition. Um, you know, that women's sport in general is getting. And I think that your G Sport is doing such an amazing job in honoring women um, in sport in particular. Okay. Babala, you guys in women's rugby don't seem to be going through is King as a transformation like the men are. Why is that? I think that, um, you know, women's rugby in South Africa is only 15 years old, which means that we started playing the game, you know, in a completely different you know, era um, in comparison to the men who, who um, you know, have uh, been playing since during apartheid and after that. So they've had, you know, some rather systemic challenges when it comes to institutionalized racism and actually, you know, um, you know, uh, weeding it out. So for us, it's completely different. Um, you know, the vast majority of the team is made up of, of amazing black women. Um, the sport in itself is actually quite popular, um, you know, with, with, with black women than any other race group. So it, it, we don't truly, truly have any of, of, you know, those transformative issues, at least not on the racial part. Mm. Oh, OK. Well, I mean, and that brings me to, to talk about more transformative issues or things that need addressing. For instance, we look at Banyana Banyana and the fact that um, they have to hold down jobs in 95s because of the pay disparity, right? Talk to me about how we fix and address those issues of the fact that women don't earn as much as men. Those are some other structural issues that need to be addressed. And I think it's, a, it's, it's, it's honestly a matter of urgency um, that we start addressing those types of issues. I think the time for us to be tiptoeing around that has come and passed, um, you know, because um, what more do we need to do for generations? We've proven that, um, you know, we, we, we are deserving yeah. of, you know, the equality and equity as well within, mm. within sporting, um, you know, fraternities. And I think that we need a more hands-on approach. I think we need, um, you know, all hands on deck in terms of, you know, starting to change that. Um, a more policy-driven endeavor as well, I sure. think. Um, I think if we can have more policies, effective policies, um, uh, you know, to drive, um, you know, the, 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 the ultimate ending of that. And um, I think if we can start doing that, and taking a serious look at that and having food soldiers for those policies to actually ensure that Mm. Um, you know, they actually fulfill the aim, then we can, we can start moving towards a direction where we can truly say that um, uh, men and women are equal in, in, in sport. Mm -hmm. I think that in Women's Month, as fans, we need to put our eyeballs where our sentiments are. Sure. We need to start actively and proactively supporting women who are athletes, going out and watching their matches when we can, but also driving them on social media so that brands see mm -hmm. this is where we want you to spend your money. I, have, I agree with you. I have no problems whatsoever pressuring intentionally brands to actually put their money where their mouths are and take it to women and women in sports who deserve it. And what I love also about you, Babalua, and millennials in general, is how unapologetic you are about what you deserve. You know it and you ask for it. I always rant about this to people whenever I have the opportunity about the fact that we need to teach girls at age seven to play rugby. They must be in there when they're in their early primary school years because by the time they reach adolescence, rugby teaches you that every body type is important. Every Me too. body mm. type matters. Me too. I'm, I'm the, the physical girls in the forwards, the tall ones, the, the smaller scrum halves, mm -hmm. the athletes what in the back. What position would they play? You would probably be a Lucy. I would, I would what, pick what, you in the Lucy. What is a Lucy? Uh, a flanker or an eighth, eighth man. Number eight. It's okay. We'll have this chat As Babala rolls her eyes. Babala, <laughs> how do you convince people that their daughters must play rugby? What is your sales pitch? <laughs> um, it, 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 I always take it um, from, from a, a fun perspective. You know, I think that rugby is, is quite fun. Contrary to popular belief, um, it's not as painful and as aggressive and as, you know, all these kinds of things. It's actually quite fun. And it teaches your daughter so many lessons, even your son, um, you know, so many great life lessons that no matter how hard you fall or no matter how much you get attacked from all sides, 
you always need to keep strong and keep pushing forward. You fall once, you get up twice. You fall twice, you get up thrice. And you get to, to, to score, you know, and celebrate that with your teammates. So, you know, some beautiful life lessons to be learned in the sport of rugby. So, uh, Babalwa, we have something special, a little something special for you from uh, the Imbogoto coach, uh, Paul Dalport. Please, take a look at this. <laughs> Hi, Babalwa. I'd just like to congratulate you on your nomination. All of us are really rooting for you. I think you've been a tremendous, trem tremendous asset to the National Women's 15s team. Um, you know, being the first person to sign an overseas contract is massive for us as a, as a, as a women's rugby system. And again, I'd just like to commend you on the person you are, the energy you've brought, the leadership capabilities that you've brought to the National Women's Setup has been instrumental to us growing the game. And again, really, really hoping that you, that you win this award and just keep on striving and keep on pushing to make sure that women are treated equally in this. Oh, oh let's get your reaction. Tell us how you feel. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, yo, uh, very hard for me message. Um, no, thanks for that. I haven't seen that guy in a long time. Yes. Oh, man. Um, quite special. <laughs> quite special. He's a special guy, really. Oh. That's fantastic. Well... Thank you so much, Babalwa. It was so lovely to chat to you and just see your face for a change. Yeah. I'm just following you on Instagram. And if you're not following her yet, you should also know that she has an LLB degree. This lady. Come listens. through. Come she through. She's packing on every level. La, la, la. Okay? Every Brains, level. brawn, everything. Babalwa, <laughs> keep flying the flag. Keep making us proud. Keep inspiring us. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you after the break. Welcome back. Tonight we are going to play a little trivia game on our Chicky Friday segment. All right, guys, we've got cue cards in front of us. Yes. And do. nobody knows what's written here mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. everybody has, you know, their own thing. Mm -hmm. So the quotes range from politics to scandals to everything that you can think of. Yes. And all of you guys need to guess. There's also pop culture in here, right? Yeah. So I will start. Okay? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> <laughs> Who said this? Okay. I will never start a political party. I want to say Julius Malema. I also want to say Julius. I think it's also the way you did it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's also the it's it's delivery. delivery. Yeah, he's yeah. also like the kind of guy to say something and then be kind of hypocritical about it. Wow. Um, Are we right? Yeah, you guys are right. It is Julius Malema. Okay, okay. cool. You cool. got it. Um, here's uh, who said this, okay. In the world of South African music icons, mm -hmm. somebody uttered these words. Wonka Muntu, independent. Mendoza. Let's go. Oh, Mendoza. Yeah. Oh, come on. Mendoza. I mean, it's so an easy yeah. one. All, All right. right. <laughs> this one, I want to say it's like history slash pop culture. But anyway, uh -huh. who said youth is wasted on the young? Youth is wasted on the young. Hi, guys. Refila, you should know Isn't this. Isn't this like... Like a Roman Refi Empire? Refi 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 you've got books <laughs> and books in your Jimmy, house. You should know this. Other Julius. It's Caesar. Shakespeare. No, Shakespeare. It's none of those people. It's George Bernard Shaw. Get out! <laughs> I mean, so upset. <laughs> I didn't write my own cue card. I need a refund from the English Lit Department at Bits University. I'm just saying. Okay. Think universal. Mm -hmm. I grew up in a world where a woman who looks like me with my kind so of... Zosie Tunzi, thank you very much. I, I wasn't even done. And you also gave I mean, it away. Universal. You gave it away. Yeah, you think, think, think globally. Universal. I grew up in a world, but guys, we already knew. We already know. Come on, Alma. Okay, okay yeah. teachers. All right. <laughs> I'm not going to say think way. Because okay, you guys are going to get it. All right. And if you don't get this, I don't know, guys. I'm just a girl standing in front of you. Not Hill. Hill. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's not even a competition, but we're fighting That's one of my win. favorite movies. I absolutely love it. I mean, Julia Roberts is a bit typecast, mm. but in that movie, she's it's, perfect. It's such a I lame line, though. Could they it not? It is. That's yeah. what romantic comedies are. It reminds yes. me of That's Pick Me. Pick 
me. Oh. <laughs> Guys, rom coms are that. Like, we're not trying to yeah. you know, be feminist here. We're not really for rom coms. We just yeah. want to watch goofy, cheesy love stories. But I like With her in Erin Brockovich more. Okay, but that's where she's trying to be a lawyer and fight the world. <laughs> like, it's a different story. Illnesses, yeah. suing, litigation. No. All right. Who said this? Uh, and the next line is popular, iconic, uh, and had South Africans turning their heads. Who said, we don't live in the townships, we don't need to have load shedding, it is not a suburban thing. Coconut cows. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. I watch all, I watch all the videos. There you have it. There you have it. Okay, that's low it. Okay, this one is a song lyric. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She, Coconut Cows would listen to this person. <laughs> and he's long gone when he's next to me and I realise the blame is on me. Okay, it, 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 is it Taylor Swift? Uh, I was going to say, it's that I, person yeah. always sings I that type so of song. I am so proud of you. I didn't even know, <laughs> but I saw Elma's face light up. I was like, something <laughs> white is happening. <laughs> Someone in the hive has been listening to Taylor. <laughs> yeah, Cross-pollination <laughs> happening Okay, here. this is a really easy one. It's sport, but even you, my Blair. Mm. Who said the harder you work, the luckier you get? Uh, Come on, let's say ho. What is Guana is, Guana? is that gold? What's this? What are you doing? Yes! Okay. The Gary player. Tiger Wolf. Yes! What? Gary Player. <laughs> Mr. Player. Okay. It's, it's okay. Why would I know Gary Player? But I feel I like that's Tiger Woods. Really his quote. It's, a, it's, like a, it's like a famous quote. I'm actually, I, I knew it when I heard it, but I just okay. couldn't place it. Well, let thank you so much for joining us. You are... And That's awesome awesome energy. Like, you. like you and you're funny. You're funny. Yeah, thank you're, you. you're funny. Thank you, training. <laughs> thank you for getting a right to the time. I guess it wasn't actually, you know, case, confirmed at this you're point. Funny. <laughs> thank you. You're funny. But I do, I do think a fourth chair is needed. Come no, through no. with the live audition. Yes, yeah, we're means... going to host live auditions in Cape Town. <laughs> I don't need auditions. It's happening. I tell you what, <laughs> let us know on the socials. Yeah. <laughs> let us know on the socials if you want her to come through. With well, this was an interesting one. Do let us know what you thought of our game on Ta on 3. Just like that, we say fair thee well, Ooh, Shakespeare. Mm, that's me. See you on Monday at 6 p.m. Good night. <laughs>